how to read the lace chart. So you've downloaded my version of what's in the um, Precious Amelia pattern. It's just, I think it's clearer. And I, I have to show you how to do it. So in this case, there are eight stitches that you knit and then they repeat. Um, the pattern repeats itself over and over and over. You knit these eight, then you knit those eight, then you knit those eight, and you knit those eight, and you have to do it however many times your pattern says. Um, if you're doing the, the very young sweater, you'd be doing it over 112 stitches. I'm making the next size up, so I'm doing this over and over and over into the um, into 128 stitches. Um, so you repeat it over and over and over and that and that's row one so to make your life a lot easier <laughs> uh, when you're doing this you're going to need uh, a few things you're going to need a row counter absolutely and you are going to need stitch markers and plenty of them I think probably if you can get about 20 of them you'll be good to go they come in different sizes and colors just get a get a handful when you are generally speaking and this chart is this way um, row one is always the right side some charts they're not but most of them are so row one is the right side and you read row one from the right to the left it's kind of backwards of reading a book so as you knit row one of the chart you're going to read across this direction doing what it says in each spot so this if you look at the symbology at the top you will see that that circle actually means yarn over so you know how to do a yarn over I assume you know how to do a yarn over I'll show you but then the blank just means knit you're gonna knit on the right side and purl on the wrong side like you would normally knit when you're knitting a garment and so that's a knit, just knitting on the right side, purling on the wrong side. This is a special little character. <laughs> and the instructions are slip one stitch as if to knit, knit two together, and then PSSO, which means pass slip stitch over. We'll do that. Then you would knit on the right side, knit on the right side, yarn over, and then a dash. Oh, you actually have to purl on the right side. And that would be row one and you'd repeat it over and over and then row two of the pattern you read the opposite direction and you and you knit it following the the way we normally read a book and in this particular case I've made an error on this pattern because it should have a symbol and I'm just going to correct it here but the one you print out will be correct um, so you would start by purling on the uh, right side or this is now the wrong side row two is the wrong side so you're going to knit on the wrong side and then you'll purl 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 and that's row two and then you get to row three you're on the right side so you knit yarn over knit do that funny thing where you're slipping and knitting together and passing over and then you're going to knit yarn over knit and then you have to purl and repeat it over and over then row four you read the opposite direction as you knit so you can watch this video or you can try doing it yourself um, so to do it what I did is I cast on 22 stitches just to give me a little bit of edging on either side and I want to show you how this works I'm just going to move this up so um, so I'm going to start with um, let's see uh, let's knit I'm just going to knit um, four stitches on the edge because I, I just wanted it to have a bit of an edge before I got into doing doing this um, chart so okay so I'm knitting four stitches all right so now I'm going to come to my chart as soon as I've come to my chart I'm at the edge of my chart I'm gonna put on a stitch marker it makes your life a lot easier <laughs> believe me down the road and remembering where you are then I'm going to do what it says so the first one is a yarn over like that if you've never done a yarn over 
whoa it's very complicated woohoo there it is yarn it over then you knit two that's a blank and a blank which just means knit blank blank knit okay so we knit two so we go one and we go two like that knit two then we do this fun symbol slip one as if to knit knit two together and pSSO so it's it's a decrease it's a form of a decrease and so you slip one stitch like this and how do you slip you just slip as if so pretend you're going to knit and just slip it off then you're going to knit two stitches together so I'll do that knitting two stitches together like that okay so two have become one and then you pass that slip stitch over just like that and that is that strange symbol so we did it now we go knit knit now we go knit and knit beautiful then we do yarn over and then we do a pearl on the right side so we're going to pearl that stitch okay now there's still there's still stitches left to to do in pattern but I've hit the end of my chart and to make my life easier believe me it does I'm putting a little marker to indicate I'm at the end of my pattern in the chart so now it means I start over so I'm back at the beginning so I yarn over then I knit knit so we knit and we knit and then we do this lovely crazy thing basically you're decreasing three stitches three see three points and you're decreasing it to one that's what that means so take the first stitch and slip it as if to knit you're going to knit two stitches together like that and slip that last one over like that ta-da then you're going to knit 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 <laughs> knit and knit beautiful yarn over and that means pearl on the right side and I'm on the right side row one is the right side so and then I'm going to pearl and I've hit the end of my chart so I'm going to put on another little symbol or a marker and then I only have four stitches left because those were extra ones I, I put on the pattern like I, I put on there for this testing so I, I'm just going to knit those yeah, because I, I just wanted to have an end to demonstrate this purpose if you want to try doing this go ahead I, I as I said I cast on 22 stitches so I've got four just to get me going then I do the pattern and then I do the pattern again and then I, I'm just ending with the extra st stitches so I know and if you want to check your work to make sure you've done it correctly this is really good for checking because you know there should be eight stitches and you can count in between and you can go one two three four five six seven eight there's eight one two three four five six seven eight so you, you you're pretty confident that you've done this correctly if, if you only counted seven you'd have to tink out to just redo from your from your marker point uh, and it saves you from ripping tinking a lot okay and then we finished row one so oh this is 16 let's get this back to row one there we did row one so now we're going to turn it over and this is the wrong side so normally I'm knitting on the wrong side and the normal stuck in it um, garment so you're gonna purl four one two well <laughs> I'm purling four because that's just the extra I arbitrarily assigned okay so I'm at the beginning of my repeated pattern so I'm just gonna slide the marker over and row two reads the other direction so now because we're on the wrong side which is WS wrong side we have to knit so we're going to knit one ta-da and then they're all clear which means pearl on the wrong side so a fast way of doing this is going one two three four five six seven I know I have to pearl seven so I will pearl seven one two 
three, four, five, six, seven. And that should take me to the end. And it does, because look, lo and behold, there is my stitch marker. Boom, fabulous. Now we repeat back to there. And what is that? That's knit on the wrong side. Okay, so I knit. And then there's seven pearls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm at the end, and I am, and then I had four extra stitches, right? Just just to have some extra at the, on either side. So I'm, because I'm on the wrong side, I'm just gonna purl those four. Beautiful. You see? Now you have done row two. Okay, let's try row three. And then I'm going to jump ahead to some rows just to show you how to, how, how to do it. Sorry this video is a little bit longer but I want you to understand how to do it. So row three, I'm on the right side. Generally odd is the um, is the right side. So row three, okay I just had my extra four that I did just because. So one, two, three, four. Perfect. Okay so now the chart starts. So I slide the marker over and the first stitch is knit because we're on the right side and that's just knit. It's just like do it normal. That's why there's nothing in there. So I knit, then I yarn over, done. Then I knit, then I do that three points into one which is slip as if to knit, knit two together, pass the slip stitch over. Okay, did it. Then I knit, then I yarn over, then I knit, and then I do that thing, which is purl on the right side. So I purl, I'm at the end, and my marker indicates I'm at the end. So when I'm at the end, I go back to the beginning. <laughs> so now I knit, yarn over, knit. Knit, yarn over, knit. Then I do this thing, slip as if to knit, knit two together, pass the slip stitch over, ta-da, did it. Then I knit, yarn over, knit, knit, yarn over, knit, and then I've got this purl on the right side. And we're at the end. And look at that. The stitch marker tells me I'm at the end and then I'm on the uh, right side so I will just pur or knit those four stitches. And that is row three. Done. So we mark row three. You see how this works? Row four. Sorry this is a long video but I really want you to understand um, row four is pretty simple. We've done this one before, but we'll, we'll, we'll do it again. Okay, it was the same as row two. So I'm on the wrong side. These are just my extra ones at the edge that I made. So I'm just gonna, I'm just going to purl those. All right, now I've hit the edge of the stitch. Wrong side, row four. I'm reading this direction. So this guy says I'm on the purl side. So that says I knit on the wrong side. Pearl side is the wrong side in this garment. So I knit, and you can actually start to see a knitted chain happening here. So I knit, and then I purl one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. Being on the back side of the garment, it says just do what would be normal, and normal would be purl on the back side of a garment normally. So I'm just doing what is normal. So that is five, six, seven. And look at that. There's the end of the chart, which it is, which means I start back at the beginning, which is knit. 
on the wrong side, I knit. And then I purl seven and I should get to the end. Let's see if it happens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And look at that. There's the end. Okay, and there's the four left, the extra ones that I did just to have an edge for this little piece. So I'll just purl those four. Right. Okay, and then you would mark this as you have done row four. So that's how you read a chart. And I think the only other one I'll do, I'll just slide this down, is let's pretend we've knit all this and we're getting up to um, row, this might be a little interesting for you here. So row 23. So I'm going to pretend we've actually done up to row <coughs> 22. Just pretend. Okay, so we're going to be at row 23. I want you to see how that's done. And again, I apologize for the length of this video. I try to keep them to five minutes, but sometimes it just has to be done. So this is just my little end pieces I did myself. They're not part of the pattern. It's just to have an edge to show you. So I was knitting four. Okay. All right, so there's the beginning of the repeated chart and I've done row 22, ha ha ha, and I'm starting 23. So this is reading normal knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, purl, and it's basically going to repeat. So we're gonna go knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, Pearl, knit, pearl. And that takes me to the end, and there's my chart, or my stitch. And then I repeat that again. Knit pearl once, knit pearl twice, knit pearl three, knit pearl four. Okay. So let's see if it works. Knit pearl once, knit pearl twice, knit purl three times, knit, purl four times, and look, we hit the end of the chart just like we should, and then I just had these extra four stitches, one, two, three, four. Easy. That was row 23. Row 24. This is the wrong side, even is the wrong side. It's the purl side. You can easily see now that this is the purl side. So row 24. All right, let me get my end ones done. Because I'm just purling because that's the wrong side. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we're going to begin the chart. So wrong side. So I purl on the wrong side. And that means knit on the wrong side. So I'm going purl, knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, purl, knit. Really? Yes, purl knit, purl knit. Okay, I will purl knit, purl knit, purl knit, purl knit. And we're at the end. And you've just, by the way, done the seed stitch without realizing it. <laughs> okay, so we're at the end. And now we repeat it. So this is the wrong side, right? The wrong side, so you purl, purl knit, purl knit. All right, let's do that. Purl, knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, purl, knit. Perfect, and we're at the end of the chart. Ta-da! And the little stitch marker comes over, indicating such. And I'll just purl my last pieces that aren't part of the chart. They were just extra. Okay. And if you wanted to double check and make sure everything was good, you know there should be eight stitches between each of the um, stitch markers, which there is. So you're going, hey, I'm on track, doing it right. So that was row 24. I'll show you row 25. 
because it ha because it has a, a different sim symbol in there. So row 25 goes like this. First, my extra four. One, two, bleh. here we go. Two, three, four. Okay, we're beginning our chart. There we go. Slide that over. So this symbol means knit two together. And it looks like we're going to repeat knit two together, yarn over, knit two together, yarn over, knit two together, yarn over, knit two together, yarn over. That's how you read that. So knit two together. Beautiful. Yarn over, knit two together. Ugh. Yarn over, knit two together. Hey, come on now. Knit two together, yarn over, and knit two together, and yarn over. Then move my marker and start again. Sometimes it's a little weird when you have to end on a yarn over and move your marker over because it can slide over and around it, but just tuck it in there as best as you can. And we repeat two yarn over, two together, yarn over. Okay, two together, yarn over, two together, yarn over, two together, yarn over, two together. Look at that, and we're at the end, which we are. So I will just end with my extra four stitches. Right. That's the right side done. Because we just finished 25. Odd number is the right side, generally speaking. And then if I was doing 26, because it's just blank, that means purl on wrong side. So you just purl. And that is how you read the lace chart, which you will need to know in order to start working on the next step of the precious Amelia.